that's fun. I gotta take this brunch off the sticker off. Um, I, I kind of suck at doing hauls or reviews or anything because I don't read the backs of books, so there's like not much I can tell you about them, just that it interested me. When I do read the backs of books, it's in the store and then I forget what I read, so I go into my books blindly. Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I have not talked about a lot of books that I own in a while. Um, because I go through phases of unhauling books and then buying a bunch of books and then like not reading books I own, which is a bad habit. Um, a lot of the books I have, I haven't read and I've recently bought. And again, like I was on a little bit of a break from social media and YouTube and everything. So I haven't talked about a lot of the books I've bought recently. So I decided it would be time for just a little quick random haul. This is kind of a mix of a books I want to get to in 2022 haul and books I've bought recently and my collect book collection all in one. So it's kind of a conglomerate of a lot of things going on here, but um, we're just going to get into this haul. There is like four that I bought a while ago and three that are way more recent. So we're going to start with the ones that I bought a while ago. I will be seeing where all of these are from, by the way, individually. Um, so the first book I have is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is from Barnes & Noble and I don't remember ever seeing this or hearing about it before I picked it up. At Barnes and Noble, but it looked so interesting and so good on uh, the table. It was also 50%, the buy one get one 50% off, so like that helped its case. But the book alone, like, is so interesting. It has four letters, big and bold. It says, Who Killed Corey Fields? And this isn't necessarily a thriller, I don't think. It's just like a YA. Not really sure. Don't quote me on that, but. It's giving Angie Thomas vibes, and y'all know I love Angie Thomas. So, I'm really excited about this one. I've also never heard of this author, but I'm very excited. She's a New York Times bestselling author, so. I'm excited about this one. And the next one I also got from Barnes & Noble. It is Something in the Water by Katherine Steadman. This one is a thriller, and I remember reading the back of the book, but I forgot about anything I read. All I know is it's a thriller, and the main character is a documentary filmmaker, which I was obviously, like, very intrigued by that. And something happens in the water, which is obviously, like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Um, and it's a Reese's book called Book, which, you know, is a good sign. Like, you can trust that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this looked really interesting. My mom was also interested, and she and I have kind of similar taste, so... Very excited about this. Also has good reviews on the back. A lot of people saying it's like perf people saying it's the perfect beach read. When I which when I hear beach read, I think romance or like fun or light. I don't know. But it's also a thriller thrilling and thought provoking, according to Riley Sager. So we got some we got some good trustworthy reviews. Um Next, also Barnes Noble. Most of my books are Barnes Noble, but When She Was Good by Michael Volbatham. No idea if I said that right. Probably didn't, but I never heard of this author. Never heard of the other books that he wrote, but I feel like I, they look familiar. Good girl, bad girl. Anyone? I don't know. But when she was good, it looks very crazy, thrilling, like kind of like a book. I don't know. Um, there's obviously a shocking murder and stuff going on. So it looks very good. Never heard of it though. So my first time seeing it was in the store when I bought it. I'm probably going to do a reading vlog of me trying to get through a lot of these books. So stay tuned for that. But anyway. 
The next book is Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel. This I actually got from a... My local library has this little book sale corner. So if we get donations, we they um, sell books for like really cheap. This one was originally from Target, 20% off. And the person never took the sticker. I, you guys know this book is what inspired the TV show on Hulu with Joey King. Uh, my mom saw that and loved it and was like blown away by what happened. And I have never seen the show, never really heard about the show um, besides my mom watching it. Never really saw anything about it. Um... I think I saw like one clip of Joy King and then I was like, yeah, I'm out. So excited about the book though. <laughs> uh, I, I much prefer crazy, weird, crazy thrillers um, as books than movies slash shows besides Criminal Minds, duh. <laughs> so excited about that one. So that's the first bunch of the books. And now we're on to the last three. So the first one is A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. Um, this is the author of The Girl on the Train, which my mom read that and really liked it. So she'll probably like this one if it's good. I have no idea if it's good. Um, I don't recall seeing any reviews about this book at all. Um, I've just seen it everywhere, seen it on Bookstagram, seen it obviously in the store at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I saw someone else pick this up while I was there. And then my grandma and my aunt read the, this. I don't know if they liked it. I should probably ask them now that I have it, but uh, yeah. I don't know. It's a thriller. So obviously I feel like I have kind of high hopes for it, but also like, I don't want to have too high hopes because I feel like when I get high hopes, things don't go well in my favor, but I'm excited. And also, can we just talk about the cover? Mm. Anyway, so the next book is not a thriller. Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon, also from Barnes Noble. I only have two books that are not thrillers in this haul. Anyway, this was one of Barnes Noble um, signed editions, which I love. I've read A Sun is Also a Star and Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon and loved those. Nicola Yoon and Angie Thomas, I feel like are going to be those authors that even as I'm getting older and staring much farther from YA, I will always read their books because I just love their books so much. Like I can never go wrong with any of them, honestly. So I got this and look at the cover. Can we just talk about that? Like my camera. My phone camera is not doing this justice. Like, it's so beautiful. Ugh. Anyway, this, I have no idea what it's about either. All I know is it's obviously romance. Obviously YA. Obviously there's some dancing. I assume they're dancers. I got so excited when I found out that she was coming out with this book. And she's only released two books in the past, so I was so hyped. And then, I got a signed version, so, <sighs> very excited. And then the final book in this haul is Layla by Colleen Hoover, which she came out with a new book, and I don't have that one, but I got this one. I read Verity, and I liked it. I don't, I don't want to say I loved it, but I really liked it. I gave it three and a half stars. Um... So I'm excited for this one though. I'm going to do a reading vlog for it and hopefully read it quick. Um, yeah, here she is. Uh, I don't know anything about this one because again, I don't read book synopses. All I know is it's a thriller and one of her only thrillers. Like she has two thrillers only. And already her romances are much like darker, I feel like, or like more interesting than like a basic fun romance if that makes any sense like if you read it ends with us you know what i'm talking about <laughs> um 
so her thrillers are also probably crazy. But that's what I love about Colleen Hoover is all her books have so much going on. And I'm here for that. So, very excited about this. Get excited for a book vlog, reading vlog. And that's my haul. That is all seven of the books in this haul. And in total, I have 12 books. 13 books. Because I unhauled a bunch, I unhauled the Colin Hoover books. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just helping someone else get some good books. I'll put it that way. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know below a book that you recently purchased that you're excited to read, or a book that you're very excited to read and hoping to get in in 2022 and i'll see you guys in the next one bye